I thought it was a solid win for our program. Uh, very excited to see uh, uh, the way we performed, uh, especially late in the half, and, and made some nice things happen uh, you know, to give us that cushion. Uh, I, I love when I see my teams play the last three minutes uh, like like we did. We, uh, you know, we hit a three. We caused a turnover. We got a tip in. So, just winning that last like 40 seconds, 5-0 was was crucial to to go into the locker room the right way. And then uh, just overall, I think our, our game plan defensively, our uh, our energy defensively has been uh, pretty much a constant all year, and it's uh, it's no different tonight. Holding the team of you know, I think was third in the nation in scoring coming into this game to 59 points. Uh, just says a lot about what we're doing. I think we're, we're playing with great energy. We're contesting everything. You know, and have them shoot two for 24 from three is, 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 uh, is really good work uh, for us. And, you know, as far as individual performances, uh, you know, what Romello did was pretty special again, just how uh, he dominated the lane for us in, in that game. I mean, it was a, a team effort. We knew we'd have multiple guys on him. Uh, we we wanted to try and trap him in any ball screens, try and get the ball out of his hand. Uh, we didn't want him getting in the open court. I think he did get a couple of steals, and that got him to the to the basket. Uh, so we wanted to avoid those situations. Uh, but it, it was rotating defense. I think there was an example where he got by the initial defender in the first half and and left his feet. But we were rotating to him, and he kind of threw it out of bounds, going going towards our bench. So just uh, you know, a player of that caliber and and uh, as gifted as he is, you know, you have to you know give him that type of attention and. And hope that you know you force other guys to to beat you. I mean, obviously, happy scoring 80 points, but the fact that you, you did shoot poorly both, both on three points and for the free throw is that maybe comforting that you can find other ways to score? Yeah, I mean, it felt it felt good that uh, yeah, I mean, Remy had a, had a great scoring night, um, especially in the first half, and then uh, you know his percentages weren't quite what what they've been, but he. You know, he did a nice job, and then Romello uh, w was pretty good at that end of the floor. But I, I can't help but watch the game and, and know that um, there were some things left on the table, especially in the first half. I think the quality of our three-point shots were, were pretty good, and they were open. And I, you know, it just gives me a lot of hope that maybe we're just scratching the surface here, that if we could, you know, win a game, you know, this decisively and not shoot well from the free throw line or the three-point line, it's probably a good sign. Yeah, I mean, he, he worked on his game. I, I mean, I've been really talking a lot about him in the off season, just how dedicated he's been to his body getting in shape. And uh, he, he's just moving quicker. He's quicker to the ball. He's getting off his feet, you know, way better than he did last year. And uh, he's just very determined. How important a presence was Kamani tonight? Happy for him. He's where, uh, you, know, you know, he wants to, to play better, and he's worked extremely hard, and it just hasn't come together. So happy to see the ball go through the basket, some for him, and uh, and hopefully that'll he could build up that. Bobby, you talked about leaving stuff on the table. Did you still think it was uh, one of the better, if not the best, all around games you've ever played? I just when you take into account, you know, what they have, and I know they're a young team, and this is their first road game, but they've, uh, you know, they gave Michigan State all they could handle when Edwards really got his game going in, in Hawaii, and uh, so. You know, we knew that they were capable, and Hammond's another guy that could really, you know, you know put up numbers. And uh, so they have guys you're really concerned about coming into the game. But, uh, yeah, just to see, again, our, our defense, I think we forced 13 turnovers in the first half. And, you know, we were doing the things that we've been consistently doing, and we got to stay true to those things. Do you worry about the team getting sped up a little bit too much, trying to play a little bit faster? Basically? My team? Um, I just think we have to make quality decisions. I, I think that there were a couple of we had a couple of poor choices uh, as the game went on. When we were, you know, we had a big lead, we 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 tried some things that we shouldn't try, and we we're constantly gonna, you know, point those things out. The guys were point where Zoe I think tried to lob, and he knew immediately he shouldn't have done it, and he he say, hey, my bad, I you know. So they're understanding that maybe when they're when they try something that they shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, he uh, in big games, he generally shows up and, and performs, and that's what he's done, you know, his, just about his entire career here. So, you know, he, he loves the big crowd and, you know, the opponent, and then even the storyline with, with having a potential number one pick in the building. I think 
he takes things like that personally in terms of wanting to show what he could do. Anything else? Thank you, guys.